Hello, it's Michael Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about decals in Unreal Engine. There are several reasons why you could use a decal. A decal could be used to break up kind of um, repetitivity, or just add a little bit of extra detail to a side. I'm just going to use it just to break up the repetitiveness, however you want to call it. So I just want to put a decal here. So I'm going to come up here into the top left and type in decal and put in deferred decal. So now we've got this wonderful little box here. And if I move it up a bit, we've got this purple line. Now that purple line will tell us which way the decal will be applied. So if I bring it over here to the right, we can see that the decal here is stretched along the Z axis um, because that's the direction of the purple line. However, if I turn it 45 degrees, we can see that, well, it's not 45, yeah, there it is roughly. We can see that the decal now projected on here and down but it's not being projected on the wall. And that's because the collision box, if you want to call it that, stops there. So if we go into scale and I scale that out, now it fills that whole area. So let's bring this back to zero. And now we want to add in our own texture. So I'm just going to use a bit of a grunge texture that I've got, which is right here. I'm going to select the texture, create material. And I'm just going to, just for fun's sake, just press enter. Let's open up the material. Now we've got to do a few things. So first up, we need to select the PBR shader. I'm going to come over into the material domain and turn this from surface into deferred decal. And we get an error. Uh, blend mode needs to be translucent. Well, let's change that to translucent. And so if we have a look around up here in the top left, we can kind of see that it's still a very solid color. Because this PNG has an alpha in it, we'll get the alpha and we'll move this into the opacity. And having a look around, you can barely see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this base color. So let's break that. We'll change, uh, we'll put the main color into emissive color just to make it uh, pop a little bit more. And so now we can just barely see it. So I'm going to come back over here, select our material and let's throw it over into the decal material. Nothing's going to happen because I forgot to press save. And there we have it. We've now got this little grungy type texture. So if I'm just going to move it around a little bit, how about we scale it a bit? And there we go. So we've kind of broken up this flat surface. So that's just one way to use a decal. Please like and subscribe. The video really helps me up and keeps you up to date with my content. Um, and thank you very much for watching.